Namaste. Welcome to the lecture series on the subject basic thermodynamics. This is module 5, part 2 real gases. Lecture number 14. Myself, Dr. N. Sutish Kumar, Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Kendra Engineering College, Bantwal. So, in this lecture, uh, we will discuss uh, or solve few more problems on numerical uh, problems on real gases. Okay. Okay, let us solve this problem. Determine the mass of nitrogen contained in a 30 meter cube vessel at 20 mega Pascal and 200 K by using the ideal gas equation then generalized compressibility chart. So first let us solve using ideal gas equation PV is equal to MRT. So M is equal to PV by RT. So P is 20 mega Pascal 20 to the 6. V is 30 meter cube. Okay. And uh, okay, you can write as capital V here. Okay, capital V here because it is total volume and uh, it is not specific volume. Okay, P, P you can make it P into capital V. Okay, total volume of the gas is 30 meter cube. So, R is 296.9 for nitrogen. If you do not know, you have to calculate. Okay, R bar by molecular weight of nitrogen then temperature is 200. So, you will get 10103.07 kilojoules per kg. Now, for the generalized compressibility chart, first let us note down the value of critical pressure and critical temperature uh, from the table C6. So, critical pressure PC is 33.94 bar and TC is minus 147.1 or 125.9 degree Kelvin. Now, using this, you have to calculate the reduced pressure and the reduced temperature. So, you will get as reduced pressure as 0.589 and reduced temperature as 1.59. Now, Using these two values that is PR and TR values, you have to find out Z from the compressibility chart and as all of you know Z is equal to PV by RT. So, you have to find out specific volume here. Here this is small v. So, v is equal to 0 0.00268 meter cube per kg. Now, mass is nothing but total volume by specific volume. So, total volume is 30 as I told you earlier. Specific volume is 0 0.002668. 68. So, you will get as 11194.03 kg. So, this is how you have to find out the uh, mass. Okay. Now, 1 mole uh, kg mole of ammonia undergoes a reversible non flow isothermal compression process and the volume decreases from 0.2 meter cube per kg to 0.1 meter cube per kg. The initial temperature being 45 degrees Celsius. If the gas obeys Van der Waals equation during the compression process, determine the work done during the process and final pressure. So, 1 kg mole of ammonia. Uh, reversible non flow isothermal compression process temperature remains same volume decreases initial volume is 0 0.2 final volume is 0 0.1 initial temperature is 45 okay so let us uh, note down the molecular weight of uh, ammonia as 17 n is 14 h3 is 3 17 v bar v1 bar initial volume okay for uh, per mole so 0 0.2 into 17 so that is uh, 3.4 meter cube per kg mole and V2 bar is 1.7 meter cube per kg mole and as all of you know the work done W122 is given by integration 122 P dV bar. So, here P is nothing but uh, the pressure expression from the Van der Waals equation of state that is R bar T divided by V bar minus V minus A by V bar as V bar square. So, has to be integrated with respect to dV bar from 1 to 2. So, this you will get it as uh, R bar T as outside. So, integration of uh, 1 by V bar minus B is ln V2 bar minus B divided by V1 bar. Okay. So, there should be V1 uh, V1 here. Sorry for the mistake. Uh, v1 bar minus b plus a into 1 uh, integration of uh, minus 1 by v bar square is uh, 1 by v2 minus 1 by okay here is also mistake there so it should be 1 by 1 by v2 bar i'll rewrite here 1 by it is a type of mistake 1 by v2 bar minus 1 by v1 bar okay i beg your pardon for the mistake please do correct it 
okay because uh, the it, a into this part so this part is now this part okay a into this part 1 by v2 bar minus 1 by v1 bar because other is 1 minus 1 and here it becomes 0 that's wrong okay now from table c8 so you'll get the value of the constants of the van der Waals equation that is as 424.9 and bs 0 0.0373 and if you substitute in the expression for w122 so you'll get it as uh, minus 1737 sorry minus 1737.098 kilo newton meter per kg mole so newton meter is nothing but joules you can write it as kilo joules per kg mole also and final pressure also you have to find out for that you have to use the expression uh, that is a expression from van der Waals equation of state p2 is equal to r bar t divided by v2 bar minus b minus a by v2 bar whole square so you will get it as 1443.1 kilo pascal okay let us solve this problem determine the pressure of co gas having a volume of 0 0.003 meter cube per kg at 164 kelvin with the use of generalized compressibility chart also determine the volume of gas uh, if the volume of the gas is reduced to 80 percent of the initial volume what is the temperature of the gas at the same pressure okay uh, you have to find out the temperature of the gas at the same pressure if the volume is reduced to 80 percent okay no issues let us solve this problem so let first uh, since it is to be solved using the generalized compressibility chart so let us go to the table c6 and note down the value of tc and pc for co okay carbon monoxide and pseudo reduced volume v dash r or vr dash is equal to v bar pc divided by r bar tc so we'll get as point 266 so here is r bar is always 8.3143 into 10 power minus 3 so it is 0 0.0083143 and tc is 134.8 from the table okay it's a, it's a mistake here it is written as 3 here it is written as 8 okay please check the table and pressure is 34.96 bar and uh, v bar is 0 0.003 okay and uh, into 28 because uh, so v is given as 0 0.003 so v bar is v into m okay now from chart 7 that is generalized compressibility chart uh, from using vr dash value as 0 0.266 tr as 1.234 you'll get z value as 0 0.59 and pr value as 2.26 so once you find out the value of pr so you can find out the value of uh, p as pr into pc which you'll get it as 90.81 bar Now, if the volume is reduced to 80% of initial volume, then V becomes a 0 0.8 into 0 0.003, which is 0 0.0024 meter cube per kg, and VR dash changes to 0.213. So, once you find out VR dash, now from the answer again go to the chart. So, using VR dash uh, and uh, PR, you can find out Z as 0.47 and TR as 1.15. Okay. So, now you can find out T as 152.86 Kelvin. This is TR into TC. It's not minus. It is into. It is dot. TR into TC. So you'll get as 152.86 Kelvin. Okay. With this, I conclude the lecture series on this module five. Uh, some 14 lectures series uh, I have given. Uh, so I conclude this module five with this, and I continue my lecture series with the uh, module four. Uh, by taking a pure substance chapter first. Okay. Thank you.